Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I thought I would show you how to combine multiple stocks into a single chart. So we'll just get started right here. What we're looking at, um, in the candlesticks we basically have the SPY, that's the S&P 500 ETF. At the top here we have the uh, IWM in blue, which is the uh, uh, an ETF of the Russell. And then uh, in the purple we have the QQQ which is the uh, ETF of the NASDAQ 100. And I find sometimes it can just be helpful to have all three of these on a chart to compare them, um, especially when you get a huge um, divergence um, between two of them. Um, it pretty much means that they're going to converge on one another. And we can see that's kind of what happened right here. You know, the QQQ was down 2%. The IWM was up 21%. And, you know, within about a week and a half, they both converged, you know, within about 10% of each other right there. So it, it can be helpful maybe to take positions or just compare multiple stocks. Um, but anyway, let me show you how to do this. So first what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back just to a basic chart. And we'll go up to studies. And we're going to add a study. And we will go to compare with custom symbol we'll type in qqq and hit enter so when you when you do just one stock or etf um, it's going to put on the right side we have the price range of the the main stock that we're looking at which is the spy and then on the left side we have the stock uh, that we have just added if we add a third stock or etf So now what that does, once you put three and it's going to um, basically just put all three on a percentage basis right here. So one thing I like to do here is I like to just look at year to date um, and to see what these stocks have done year to date. So we'll come over to the, um, the time frame setup tab here. We'll go to time frame and under daily uh, time interval interval, we're just going to choose year to date. And now we can see what these three stocks have done year to date. And, you know, year to date, we can see that the SPY is up 20%. The NASDAQ is up 18%. And the IWM is up 12%. So if you're not a, a fan of the, um, the line, uh, you can come up to studies and you can actually change that to candlesticks. Uh, we'll go to edit studies. And we can just click on the gear icon here. We can change that to candle and hit OK and apply. And now we can see that we have a candlestick chart here. Um, I'm going to change it back because I just like the way the line looks better. And then also your, your main stock here, if you do not want it to be candlesticks, if you want it to match the lines, we can come up over here to the chart settings. We'll go to appearance and we can just go to line and apply. So now we have all three line charts. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful and uh, have a great day. Bye.